trying to snap that long SEC losing streak they haven't won since 1995 and the kick will go to Williams at the goal line Williams trying to get it outside flag is down good return out across the 35 but David's coming back Tony Dixon of course the strong safety suspended for the game so Marcus Spencer getting the start there in his slot open receiver that's Todd Yoder he's got a first down as he gets out across the 20 yard line Joe Webb now into punt six punts last year by uh, last week averaged 38 and a half deep for Alabama he goes Harvin Richard signal for a fair catch and take it. Alabama will have excellent field position. They've got ice on him right now, the back of the neck. He was up jogging earlier. I expect him to return to the lineup. Bob? Alabama's glad to have him back, especially with Samari Buchanan out with a collarbone injury. The ball oh. comes around and intercepted. Oh, what a play. Intercepted Doyle Crosby. The ball was tipped, and Crosby comes up with the play. Man, they had turnovers last week. Now they get one. Wallace on the out. Got his man Hogan's again. And runs up to the 40-yard line, close to a first down. Vanderbilt, second possession. This off the interception by Crosby. trips him up and he's going to be close to a first down second and long for Wallace and the Commodores there's the slot pattern that's Hogan's he's in the Alabama secondary and Hogan's is going to score for Vanderbilt 50 yards well, if you're Alabama you're thinking don't turn over the football now get back into your offense go to your house Alexander Good gain on first down, right at seven yards. Alexander, it's a block, it's a foot race. Sean Alexander, dragged down in Vanderbilt territory. Saving the touchdown, Jimmy Williams. He knocked one through last week against BYU. He'll try from long distance. Plenty of leg on it, and he's off to the left. So Alabama misses the field goal attempt. Two for three on third down conversions. Vanderbilt spreads it out on third and long. Pressure backside. Wagner wraps him up and drops him. Clint Wagner, who had two sacks last week, gets his first today. Marvin Richard back, awaiting the punt from Joe Webb. That's a better kick. High, long, spiral, and a fair catch made by Richard. Back at the 27-yard line. Good punt. 46 yards on the kick. Here comes pressure by Vanderbilt. And Alexander makes a move and down the sideline. Run out of bounds in Vanderbilt territory. Well, four years after it happens, you can be an All-American. Third and 12. Phillips. Pressure. Sack. Our man, Will Crosby again. He gets up the sack. His second of the season. Back deep, Alvin Duke for Vanderbilt. High spiral. The 17, Duke. Rock makes up the half and the red shirt's getting as he gets across the 25. And they brought both the middle backers that time of the skip. Now they rush three. Wallace over the middle over Shichuk. It's intercepted. Warren Faust picks it off. Faust down to the 27 yard line of Vanderbilt. Wallace overshoots his man. And Alabama makes him pay. And men up. Alexander breaks it. Alexander's got a lot of room to run, and he's going to score. But there is a flag down. Bob Vanderbilt had 10 men on the line of scrimmage. The minute Alexander broke through, he was gone. Now, did Vanderbilt line up in the neutral zone? Offsides, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt. yes. Touchdown, Sean Alexander. And off up the middle. Breaking a couple of tackles is Rodney Williams. A couple of yards short of the first down. Kennery Knight comes up for Alabama. Marvin Richard back at the 10. Ronnie oh, shanks it off the side of his foot. They get a roll. He does get a great roll. Down to the 13-yard line. Alabama with the four wideouts on second down and long. Calvin Hall. 
Yeah, see if Vandy doesn't come after him this time. They know they're going to get good field position. That's a good kick. Driving spiral. Going back in the play is Duke. It is 25. Pretty good return by Duke. Over 10 yards, and Vanderbilt will have it at its 37-yard line. Trying to adjust to college football. He said he liked Wallace the first time he saw him. Busted play here. Chase from behind and sacked. Alabama swarms him. And Crosby now trying to settle down his freshman quarterback. Webb kicks Richard. A fair catch at the 34-yard line. And that's where Alabama will take over. Phillips dumps it out. Down his man, Quincy Jackson. And he'll pick up uh, close to the 40-yard line. A pick of about six on first down. 0 for 4 on third down conversions today. Nine minutes to go, second quarter. Oh, no pressure. Phillips got his man. Michael Vaughn, and Vaughn's got a first down at midfield. So now he's still in school, but just can't play. So that's seven big holes they had to fill. Phillips out man. broken coverage. Eric Locke is wide open. Another first down, down to the 36-yard line. Started 10 games last year and has really developed into one of the most consistent players on this Alabama team. Phillips back to throw again. Out pattern, open. Stays in bounds and knocked down at the 30. Short of a first down. Third down and three coming up for Alabama. Alabama trying to convert a third down. They've not been very good with that today. Phillips over the middle. Michael Vaughn's got it. Vaughn's got a first down. First down, Alabama. Backside flips and Phillips blasted. Ansley Battles makes the stop. He missed earlier from 53. Now he tries one from 45. And the kick is no good. You don't want him to force the football. You don't want to put it on the ground. You don't want to make mistakes deep in your own territory. Wallace going to throw it. Lobs it deep. And it's picked off. Just what you said. Intercepted Alabama. Kevin Sigler picks it off. And he gets down to the 15-yard line. After the pass interception, on the return, it, on Alabama, the penalty is 15 yards from the spot of the foul. It'll be a first down. It gives Alabama, again, great field position. We'll look at this formation, Bob. Phillips looking. Over the middle, Jackson! Touchdown, Alabama! <laughs> Alabama rushing three. Wallace has time, goes to his familiar and popular receiver. Yoder, Todd Yoder, brings it in for the first down. Is it complete? I think it is. I think it was complete, but I don't know that he got the first down yardage. Looks like he had to go to about the 46, almost 47. Marvin Richards going to drop back just in case they're going to punt. I wonder if Alabama's got the punt team out there. Richards back at his 25-yard line. And there's the quarterback sneak. Let's see if they got it. They do have a timeout with 42 seconds left, so they've got a chance to get downfield, get that field goal tried. Strong arms it, complete pass to Nezi Ashanalu. First and 10, 33 seconds to go. Vandy down by a touchdown. Alabama, no chance. They came coming. Kelvin Sigler, he's had a big day. An interception, a couple of sacks. And so is Wallace now to college football, and especially here in the SEC. Well, they get a first down, they can move the chains, but I think they're going to have to go for the home run. Had it, lost it, came out of his hands. Hunter was back there. Now, this is going to be a surprise to me if they try this. Maybe it's a fake. But 63 yard field goal, I don't know if he's got that kind of leg. Billy Miller puts it down, and the kick is blocked, and that'll be the half. So Vanderbilt led 7 0 early, but Alabama comes back with two touchdowns. And Woody Woodhopper's team goes to the locker room, trailing Alabama here at Legion Field 14 7. Well, the defense does their job. They held them. They're going to be three and out. Vanderbilt's going to get the football. Driving low, spiral. Duke backs up and watch the ball kick into the end zone. That took a left wow. turn. Jared McGrath back in a running back for Vanderbilt, the standing tailback behind Wallace. 
and he gets the handoff. And then get back to the line of scrimmage. He was minus two rushing in the first half. A flag comes down late over on the sideline. Holding on the offense. Finley will be half the distance from the end of the run. First down. It's first down. Might be a late hit. Now think about what this penalty could be. But if that penalty is a late hit on the sideline, oh, okay. Tensional break is from the end zone. Therefore, we have a safety. safety. And he had 113 yards in the first quarter. 36 yards on the touchdown count. Alexander off again. Steps out of bounds. Mike DuBose told us, he said, I told him in the offseason, I want him to practice like he plays. He practices at 100%. On the pass, in the oh, it was caught. Wow. Ron Richard took a shot and still hung on to it. Interesting first down, you go to a shotgun. Not running, they get it off just in time. Option. That was John David Phillips, especially last year, and he pushes the ball down to the 20-yard line. Second down. And Alexander up the middle. Pulls his way to another first down, it looks like. Sean Alexander, Sean Alexander dragged down by Lamont Turner. Well, the reason that is is that freshman, there's just so much to learn. They don't get a whole lot of time when you have talent like that. Pass intended for Carter is deflected, intercepted. It was intended for Quincy Jackson. And there's a flag on the play. Oh, it's holding. Okay, holding him off the line. Bandy really needs to stop here. Alabama, they need to keep it going. Alexander to the outside. Breaks one. Goes for the end zone and scores. Touchdown, Sean Alexander. His second of the day. Touchdown. All kinds of time. Now it goes away. Travis Smith comes up. Sixth sack of the day. You just can't take that much time in passing football. You've got to throw this in order. Webb in the kick it. Floating spiral. Richard makes a fair catch in Vanderbilt territory, and that's where Alabama will start. So hope to punt it again. Drop it inside the 10-yard line. Gain Navy for the corner. He got it. Wow. Let's see where they're going to put it. Right about the 10-yard line. All right, David. Especially game for Vanderbilt. Some of the players, 13 of them on the roster today from the state of Alabama. But the homecoming has not been a good one. By Trevis Smith. Vanderbilt not getting much done. They had 37 last year. So they're going the wrong way. Pressure. Oh, did he get out of the end zone? I don't think he did. Let's see. They haven't motioned anything. Safety. Safety. It's a safety, the second of the quarter for Alabama. So again, Joe Webb to kick it off. Quincy Jackson going to come up and watch it go out of bounds. Market at the Alabama 30. That's an illegal play for the kick being out of bounds. The penalty uh, puts the ball 30 yards downfield on the 50. That's a first down. And the booming kick that's angling for the sideline. I think went out again the same spot. About the eight yard. Oh, wow. soon going to find out because all the uh, all the uh, Vanderbilt players come to the sideline. Personal foul, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. But look at the second half total yards from Commodore. Minus 29. They've done nothing across the pack. Yes. Lopez comes up, pays for it as Sigler comes up and drills it. A couple sacks, an interception, and six tackles for Sigler. Get his way through the Alabama secondary. That was on a second and short play, and so Gardner suddenly showing some life on offense. Gooder comes in motion on third down. Backside Sigler. What a big day for Kelvin Sigler. He just laid a walk on Walsh. And Webb in the punt again. He's been a busy guy this quarter. 
Wobbly kick. Richard going to field this one and drop. Good coverage by Vanderbilt. Down there making the play, Brian Taylor. Freshman out of Prince George, Virginia. Another good kick. Hope. Drive driven back to his 20-yard line. Gets one block, gets two blocks, pops it outside. Their flag comes down. Hope finally comes up, makes the tackle on Alvin Duke. And they're going to bring it back. On the return. Blocking the back on the receiving team. Penalty's 10 yards from the spot. First down. He is back at quarterback. Greg Jolman was warming up, but they're going to stay with the freshman. Waits throws complete. Cutting was Asanalu, the freshman out of Waukesha, Wisconsin. Very, very positive. He's looking for positive things to happen. Log cabin on an 11 yard, uh, 11 acre spread there. Good high floating kick, and Richard makes a fair catch at the 18-yard line. That time, and he's on target again, this time to Michael Vaughn. It's going to be a first down for Alabama. Trying to win back-to-back -back game to open up this season. John David Phillips on the roll, and the throw, and the completion. About a reverse of 12 national titles and 20 SEC champions. Phillips over the middle. Good catch by Calvin Hall. They're hanging all over him, but he was still able to make the grab. Or just kind of popped away when they take their eyes off him. All the guys already graduated. Yes, his marketing degree. They go to him again. So he's in grad school right now for Alabama. They also hope to get Shamar and Cannon back in the next couple of weeks. Now with a broken collarbone. Alexander on the gap. Across the 40, down to the 38-yard line. That'll be a first down for Alabama. Vanderbilt on a blitz. Hand off Alexander. He puts it up the middle. Sean Alexander. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown. His third of the day. He had early success, but Alabama has really pressured him the rest of the way. Wallace looks, throws. Good pass to Yoder. Yoder has it up near the 40. Russell out of bounds. I point back to that one play that really changed it, that interception. Because if they had gone in halftime 7-7, to who knows what might have happened. Wallace lets it go, and the ball is knocked away. And a flag comes in late. Six and a half minutes to go in the game. Pressure, Wallace. Down he goes again. Wow. That time he took one of his offensive linemen with him. Find him was knocked into the backfield and he's down hurt. They're playing on the edge. They're playing on the shoulders. They're playing in the gaps and really coming, just coming hard after the uh, after the offense. Fair catch, Richard. 25-yard line. Richard with a fair catch. And Pope did in the punt for Alabama. Good kick. Boomer right there. Back to the 15 is due. Looking for seeing a big hit by Alabama on the coverage team. Mike DeVos, like us, waiting. It's a holding penalty against Alabama. It gets a lot of leadership qualities out of him, and John David Phillips is really a great story developing for this Alabama football team. Duke again. And so Vanderbilt will be able to pick up some good field position finally. Third down. Zolman, a freshman from Miamisburg, Ohio. Left hand. Looking to throw. Looking to be sacked. That's an interception, probably seven or eight tackles. He really had a day. Funny unit for Vanderbilt. Been overworked today as Webb kicks another one, and Richard makes the reception back at the 25. They'll come in, they'll take Gold Miss next week, and uh, they should give him a football game. One almost blocked, knifing through for Vanderbilt was Luke Thomas, but they got it away. And Alvin Duke now, jitterbug back there. Duke still on his feet. Finally coming down at the 38 by Calvin Hall, and the flag goes down. Well, let's get the call here by Bill Goss. Personal foul, grabbing the face mask on the kicking team. It's 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. And on the second half, a couple of safeties and a touchdown run by Alexander opened things up. And Alabama has really been in control of this thing since the second quarter. Solomon over the middle to Yoder. Yoder. Breaks a couple of times. It's close to a first down as we get down to under 10 seconds to go. Zolman for the end zone. And the pass is intercepted by Spencer. 
Spencer makes the grab on the final play of the game. Alabama's defense dominant. Marcus Spencer closes things out as Mike DeBose and Alabama. The 300th victory for this proud football tradition. DeBose shakes hands with Woody Woodenhofer as Alabama takes it 32 to 7. An impressive day today, Dave, I think, for Alabama. Oh, I certainly do. They moved the football well on offense. They were able to control the football game when they had things bad. Things went well.